goes as Lex Terrian goes, and she knows that. So watch them early getting the basketball to her inside. You see the Panthers in the home white and the traveling green for the Greyhounds. We're set for basketball here in Pittsburgh, and it really is an intriguing matchup. Can the Panthers speed up Loyola? Can Loyola slow down the Panthers? And the tip won by the Panthers and a different starting lineup for Pitt. Deshanette Harris, Leah Two King, but Amy Hayford and the freshman Marley Washnitz is in the starting lineup tonight. Right to King and King takes it right inside for the first two points of the game. And I think we're going to see Leah Two King get a ton of touches. Loyola's starting five a little different as well. Radigan in the starting lineup. You see Dixon, uh, Coy Sims, and of course Lex Terrian we discussed along with Bree Rossi. Bree Rossi could be one of those players you, you need to keep an eye on uh, as an X factor in this game. Yeah. Ball stolen by Deshanette Harris. Lost a little bit, able to put it up, no good, but Amber Brown is there for the offensive putback. Yeah, that's a good sign for Pitt. Loyola is struggling on the offensive end with their turnovers. And that was actually Amy Hayford. I, I was thinking about Amber Brown because down at that end earlier today, so we see the steal from Deshanette Harris. We saw Amber Brown go down, uh, but she was able to come back after it looked to be an ankle injury. And there's Amy Hayford in the starting lineup and contributing right away. Yeah, Amy Hayford will be interesting tonight as she loves to push the tempo for Pitt as they want to get out quickly. Panthers doing a good job of fronting Tarion. Jump shot in and out, but Tarion able to get the rebound. Little missed time jump. Tarion shot no good and rebound to Amber Brown. The real one. <laughs> yeah. Right by Harris to Brown. Nifty play, but Brown couldn't finish. 4-0 Panthers here early on. Three-pointer down by Talia Dixon, and that's what she does. Yeah, Pitt is going to have to find her in transition and find her on a three-point line. That was too easy for her as she's shooting nearly 50% from behind the arc. Jump shot. No good by Leah Tu King, and rebound to Koi Sims. Sims, the six-foot sophomore. Cross-court pass. And looking to get it into Tarion. Ball loose after a steal by Leah Two King. Yeah, early on they're already making it. Pitt is already making it difficult for them to get the basketball into Lex. Moved by Dacian at Harris King enters into the paint, misses the shot. Ball knocked out of bounds. It will be Panther basketball. Panthers led by Lance White. His fifth year with the Panthers. Malia Johnson is going to check in decorated career as an assistant at Florida State and feels like not only does he have his best recruiting class but feels like he's got his best group best cohesive team yeah he sounds most excited about this group as this was his highly highest ranked recruiting freshman class so hopefully they can turn things around in ACC play than they have over the past few seasons Leah Johnson had been starting and Kind of got the sense that she was a little motivated when she was going to get out on the court to show that she should be starting next time out. Washnitz three, no good. Rebound to Coy Sims. Well, it really shows what confidence they have in, in Talia Johnson. Two minutes on the bench, and she's already into the game. And good defense by the Panthers. Leah to King right there again. Here comes Amy Hayford. Hayford, really nice pass to Amber Brown. And that's what Amy Hayford will do for this Pitt Panther team. And I think that's why they went with Amy Hayford in the starting lineup. They wanted to push the tempo, and that's exactly what she'll give you. I think we've seen at times with Amy, sometimes her feet are too fast for her hands. But she did a nice job of staying in control on this, on this steal and layup right here. Yeah, as you see, they're packing it in on the in the paint on the defensive end, making it difficult for them to get it inside, and then it leads to an easy transition bucket for Pitt. And perfect timing of that pass to Amber Brown. 6-3 Panthers. Number of substitutions with Talia Dixon at the line for Loyola.
Dixon's free throw is good. Danielle O'Bannon is quite a story, and she has taken over a program now in her second year. She's building it from the foundation uh, and trying to instill a number of things, and it's, sometimes that can be a tough process. Yeah, absolutely. They, they won four games last, sorry, excuse me, five games last season. They've already won four this season. Breaking the press. See substitution. East Lewis in for the Panthers. Gabby Hutcherson there at top of the key. So it's Hutcherson, Johnson, Washington, Lewis, and Exenor. The shot missed by Hutcherson, but Washington ends up with the rebound. Panthers up 6-5. And as you see, Loyola here in a zone defense. And three to the corner. Good rebound by Marta Espinal. So it's Dixon, Sims, Tenero, Rossi, and Espinal. And quickly, Terrian comes back in as substitutions back and forth. Nationad Harris in for Washington. What a cool experience for her to get the start for the first time. Yeah, absolutely, nothing like that first start as a freshman. Christina Garcia in, and it seems like here in the first couple of minutes we've seen everybody. Both teams substituting liberally. Good inbounds to Tarion. And Greyhound's able to keep that in, but blocked by Hutcherson, and then a jump ball as Tarion was in with Exenor. Yeah, great defense inside there with Gabby's length, her arms inside. She is a great shot blocker. Rossi inbound, down low, back to Rossi. Well, look, setting up the offense. Four minutes gone here in the first quarter. It is a 6-5 lead. Cross-court pass, Redwell coming quickly the other way and losing it out of bounds is Malia Johnson. Good read defensively. Just lost it right at the end. I think she was too excited for that one. <laughs> Malia Johnson, as you mentioned, from one point a game last year to now, she has come a long way in her career. 20 points in the season opener, which is, imagine that start. Look at the minutes, and the points, and everything has improved for her. Yeah, and especially her confidence. That has confidence written all over it. She has truly in, improved since last season, put in the work in the off season, and it has shown. Dejanette Harris with the blocking foul. Fourth foul against the Panthers. Simmons back in. As we have seen, 20 players in this game in the first four and a half minutes. And a steal by Dacianette Harris. Numbers aren't there. Harris is still going to attack. Right into layup. Up and in. Dacianette Harris. A little hesitation, able to finish. And the Ursuline senior finishes. Dayshanette Harris looks like she's hurt. Yeah, I saw that too. Oh, a good, good move by Malia. Johnson is able to go in for the layup, and now Dayshanette Harris is going to jump out. Panthers have opened up a 10-5 lead over Loyola. It's college basketball here in Pittsburgh.
Rated everyone. I'm an alien. If you're making a sci-fi movie, you need to finish the special effects. Does that look good? And if you want to save by bundling home and car insurance, you need Geico. Uh -oh. The getaway sales event is going on now at the all-new South Charlotte Hyundai. When the weather gets colder, the deals get hotter. With leases on Hyundai starting as low as $219 a month, you're not going to want to miss out. We have over 200 new Hyundais available right now, ready for you to drive home today. Each new vehicle comes with America's best warranty, plus three years of complimentary Hyundai maintenance with Hyundai Assurance. A grand opening, a grand sales event, and a grand selection of vehicles. All of this going on now at the all-new South Charlotte Hyundai. Robin Hood's crew weren't looking particularly merry this holiday. Oh, me tights! The ties are stuck! <laughs> my tights! Not again! It's in my mouth! Luckily, she's scorned big with holiday deals at Amazon. And now their pants are a lot more functional. What are those? Pockets, you ninnies. Yeah, that's right. Pockets. This is 100% fresh beef. With two slices of melted cheese, pickles, onions, ketchup, and mustard. This is a burger that strongly suggests you take a seat. It marks its territory, leaving behind a graveyard of napkins. And can't, no, won't be contained by humble sesame seed bun. This is the Quarter Pounder with cheese. Welcome back to the Peterson Event Center. Dacianette Harris, who's a key member of this Panther team, will look at the play here and, and show you what happened. It's, it seems to be a bit of an ankle issue for Harris. You see right here, she goes down just a little awkwardly. And she is currently out of the lineup, but has not left the bench area. She's going to go for a bike ride while the rest of the game happens. <laughs> And a fifth turnover on Loyola. Panthers have been aggressive and it's paid off. You know, Loyola started the season with a 33 turnover game. They've done better at controlling the basketball, but if you're an opposing coach, do you see that number? Yeah, uh, 22 a game and they're already at five turnovers. Credit Pitt, Pitt's defense for attacking them and just changing up their defense coming out of a timeout there and showing a little three court quarter uh, pressure and d does exactly what they want and get a turnover right out of it. A Strickland is in the game. Strickland from three. It's a good look. Ball tipped and run down by Loyola. Malia Van Utu with the basketball. 5-4 guard. Pennsylvania native. Yeah, she, she brings a little spark. Leave Dixon open, but that time she missed. And Tarion ran down the rebound. Yeah, she's on the glass early here, Tarion. Screen by Tarion, good hedge. Nine seconds to shoot. Radigan trying to get something going to Dixon. Dixon with three to shoot. Her jump shot is no good and bounces over the backboard. And Ten, that was five Panthers. And that was a difficult shot there for Dixon. However, Loyola head coach Daniel Danielle O'Bannon has said that they want to slow this game down and play in the half court and use the entire shot clock. And they did that just there, but didn't get the shot that they wanted. The Panthers played well defensively to start. King, Brown, Lewis, Johnson, and a Strickland in for the Panthers currently. Radigan, Dixon, Sims, Rossi, and Tarion for Loyola. Open three, no good by Lewis. Offensive rebound though, and Leah Two King created some space and was able to put it up and in. And that's exactly what Pitt needs from her. Offensive glass to an easy putback. What is it the Panthers are doing so well defensively? 
Yeah, they're bodying up Lex Terry, and they're making it really difficult right now for her to catch the basketball inside. Radigan missed the shot. It goes out of bounds. As we see the Panthers. Leah Tu King working the offensive glass. And speaking of body, just using that shoulder a little bit to create a little room. Yeah, she's pretty physical inside. Johnson's three, no good. But rebound initially controlled by Strickland, but grabbed by Dixon. No points in the last four and a half minutes. And a good thing for Loyola is only down seven, and it's still way early in this in this game, 233 to play here in the first quarter. And they're putting Terry in at the line where she shoots 72%. Yeah, that's right, and their, their go-to player at the free throw line has yet to score the basketball. And around and out. Tarion started all 10 games for the Greyhounds and plays about 31 minutes a game. Yeah, they rely heavily on her, her as you see her stats there. She averages a double-double. That is so, so, so impressive. And they'll continue to look to her all game. Aislinn Malcolm in the game for the Panthers. I think we've seen pretty much everybody at this point. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Will be Pitt basketball. No, excuse me, Greyhounds basketball. 12-6. So Free Rossi. Dixon back to Rossi. And here you see that three-quarter pressure that Pitt is putting on Loyola. Loyola does a nice job. Rossi kicks it out to Dixon. Dixon drives. Left-handed floater is no good. And a blocking foul called on Leah Tu King. That was a great offensive possession right there. They were, they were trying to get the basketball into Lex Terrian. But Talia Dixon does a great job at attacking the rim. So it's interesting, Leah Tu King, two fouls. Amy Hayford, two fouls for the Panthers. So Leah Dixon's free throw is perfect. Graduate student from Baltimore. In the last couple of games, 44 points. You remember <laughs> games like that, Brianne, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Second. I don't think I ever scored that much. <laughs> Second free throw, no good. Good shot by Radigan, just doesn't go down. And King is there for her second rebound. And they're trusting Leah to King out here with two fouls, keeping her on the floor. Amber Brown. And ball stolen by Dixon. Dixon, left-handed shot blocked by Johnson. Good play by Malia Johnson getting back, not committing the foul. Yeah, as a coach, you love to see that. You turn the basketball over. Instead of dropping your head, you sprint back on defense to get a defensive stop. And that's what exactly what Malia Johnson did. And it looks like Dacianette Harris is going to check back in. I'm guessing for Marley. I'm guessing that bike ride was, was helpful, Jeff. And a jump ball situation between Malcolm and Terrian. Deshanette Harris in for Malia Johnson. Twelve different players for the Panthers, and I don't know if I've seen it in a non-exhibition game where this many different players have been in. Yeah. There have been nine different for Loyola. Incredible, and we're still in the first quarter. Deshanette Harris guarded closely. Great little space, good bounce pass, but better anticipation and hands by Terrian to knock that away. Down five, Rossi able to grab that before the travel. Radigan, right side. Three Rossi. Rossi can shoot it from the outside. Left-handed shot. Up to Nato. No good. And Amber Brown comes the other way, goes around. Rossi's charge attempt and misses the shot, and Rossi comes quickly the other way. Loyola was trying to 
push the fast break there, but they're they're out here looking a little bit winded, trying to keep up with this Pitt Panther pace. Rossi trying to create a little room. Four to shoot. Gets it to Terry, and Terry's right hand shot rolls out, and rebound controlled by Dacianet Harris. The Panthers walk away from the first quarter with a 12-7 lead here in Pittsburgh. We are the University of Pittsburgh. Single game while going through chemo, and uh, she said it's just part of her life, part of her life experience. And she's thrilled just to be doing anything at this point. But what an example she sets for anyone who ever plays for her. What an inspiration she has to be to her team, her current team, but the team that she was coaching at the time. I get chills in my bones thinking about it. What an inspiration she is to these young women. The quote and the offensive foul by Tarion, this week means everything to me. Basketball has been one of the best medicines in my life during that time that I was in treatment. So being able to, to participate in this week and being able to participate at all means everything to me. And I think that says a lot. And she's talking, of course, about V-Week, that every week is special. Every single day is special, and I'm sure she relays that message to her team. Good job by Hutcherson, working down low with a little right-handed hook. Gabby showing a little bit of inside game as she used to, likes to step out and shoot it from three. And a foul on the floor on Malcolm. Two hands on the ball handle. That's going to be a foul every single time. By the official. So, beyond just not using, what does Aislinn have to do a little better in that scenario? As the coach in me, she needs to play with her feet, not her hands, and beat her offensive player to the spot or trust her help, as Pitt is really good on the help side, weak side defense. Panthers up seven, and good closeout by Day as Dixon was ready to shoot. And offensive rebound, well done by Tiniero. Down low, Tarion double teamed. Tarion kicks it back out over in the corner to Dixon. Dixon baseline and was trying to get it back out and run down by Espinal. Dixon, that last second three or look deep two hit the iron. Dejanette Harris coming the other way. Malcolm can shoot the three as well, but that one is missed. The Panthers 0 for 7 from three tonight. Loyola has struggled even more. They're shooting 6% for the game. And a carry called on Van Utu. And you're going to see some plays by Van Utu like that. Just a freshman in her young career here at Loyola playing in her first game against a Power 5 opponent. Well, it's just one of 17. Malcolm has the ball knocked away. Gets it over to Amber Brown with Harris, Washnitz, and Hutcherson for the Panthers. Dixon, Tenero, Rossi, Espinal, and Tarion for the Greyhounds. Deep two is good by Dacianet Harris. Panthers have never trailed in this game. Team and a foul, and that one's going to be on Hutcherson. Yeah, Pitt is doing a really nice job on the defensive end. They're trying to trap out of the on ball screens. This is the good thing for the Panthers from a foul standpoint. They've run so many different players out. You don't see too many getting in foul trouble. <laughs> well, as they have a couple, I guess right. I should King say. King has two, but I mean, there are a lot of different options. Dixon. Good defense by the Panthers. Rossi looking to get it to Tarion. Tarion wants it. Five to shoot. Now in the corner. Out to Dixon. A deep, deep wow. three <laughs> by Talia Dixon. Wow, Jeff. They have to guard her out to half court. Dacianet Harris. Nice pass to Amber Brown. Good look by Dacianet Harris and the finish by Brown. Dacianette Harris said, watch me on the other end. 
I wonder if Marley was thinking about that when Dixon was about 22 feet from the hoop. Rossi has it, 15 oh, now to she shoot. knows. Dixon down low, and she had a, a choice of post players down low. Dixon deep again, no good, and run down by Washnitz. Kick out by Ace. Hutcherson, top of the key three, but good offensive rebound and lefty put back by Ace Strickland, freshman from Tennessee. So Strickland comes through with the pair and the Panthers have their biggest lead. It's 20 to 10, Pittsburgh. Welcome to the neighborhood. Now, did you know that Geico could help with your homeowner's insurance? Hmm. Cookies. Oh, it's my mum's secret recipe. Is that a little nutmeg in there? It's a secret. Is it cinnamon? It's my mum's secret recipe. Geico. Oh. If rated E for everyone. Give me my space, no, then not to waste, yo. Still better know your place, yo. I ain't slept good in days, yo. On job running up pay, so we too, why you say so? I'm back on my... You ain't seen no one like me since Roman Hill back in the 90s. Feeling that stuff, yeah, I might be. This year, save on gifts that mean more during the big holiday sale. Only at K. The getaway sales event is going on now at the all-new South Charlotte Hyundai. When the weather gets colder, the deals get hotter. With leases on Hyundai starting as low as $219 a month, you're not going to want to miss out. We have over 200 new Hyundais available right now, ready for you to drive home today. Each new vehicle comes with America's best warranty, plus three years of complimentary Hyundai maintenance with Hyundai Assurance. A grand opening, a grand sales event, and a grand selection of vehicles. All of this going on now at the all-new South Charlotte Hyundai. This is 100% fresh beef with two slices of melted cheese, pickles, onions, ketchup, and mustard. This is a burger that strongly suggests you take a seat. It marks its territory, leaving behind a graveyard of napkins and can't, no, won't be contained by a humble sesame seed bun. This is the Quarter Pounder with cheese. And welcome back to the Peterson Event Center. A 10-point lead for the Panthers. And you know, look at those shooting percentages, Brienne. And obviously not where you want to be. But the good news is you're only down 10. And you got to figure those numbers are going to improve. How do they get those numbers to improve? Yeah, that's not a bad thing for Loyola right now, being down by 10. If they could just make a few more of their shots. However, they need to get the basketball inside to Lex Terry, and they really need to ride her here in this second quarter as she only has three attempts. Three-quarter court trap for the Panthers. Amy Hayford is back in for the Panthers. And Pitt is staying in that zone out of that three-quarter court pressure. They're staying in their 2-3 here. Let's see what Loyola can do against it. Now Tarion with five to shoot. Radigan, one to shoot. Deep three, no good. I guess they just barely grazed the front of the rim, so a new 20 seconds for the Greyhounds. Rossi. Stuck, Maybe. shoots, and... We have a foul down low in trying to front Lex Terrian. Yeah, as Pitt switched on that, Lex Terrian noticed the mismatch, and Avery Strickland gets the foul because of it. Now Terrian double team, but able to work around it, just can't get that to fall. She fights for the rebound and commits the foul. Second foul on Lex Terrian. Man, Jeff, there were three bodies around Lex Terrian inside. Pitt knows who their go-to player is, and they're making it extremely difficult on her. And now she's getting frustrated with her second foul. Not that lefty shot was a good shot. It just, it's just not falling for her right now. Ten-point Panther lead, Strickland. 
Over to Hayford. Hayford, known for that speed, kicks it back out. Hutcherson is going to set a screen with 10 to shoot. Hayford fakes the three, kicks it back out. Hutcherson likes the three, hits the three. And Five what, points. What Gabby Hutcherson can do, get you a three here and there. Terry to Radigan. Bree Rossi kicks it over to Garcia. Garcia looking to get it in, but good fronting by Hutcherson. Garcia is going to take it in, misses the layup, but gets her own rebound. Three to shoot. It didn't hit the rim. Rossi, an off-balance shot. And, you know, as much as it's been a struggle and they've missed shot, Panthers' defense has really stepped up here tonight so far. Yeah, definitely. As you see, a great drive by Amy Hayford to get inside and a kick out to Gabby Hutcherson for three. They, Pitt is doing a really nice job at attacking the paint and getting kicks for wide open looks on three. 23-10. That's the first made three by the Panthers. Johnson. Panthers, good ball movement to find Hutcherson down low. Misses the shot, but Sims grabs the rebound and a jump ball called. And it will be Panther basketball. Gabby Hutcherson wants that one back as she knew their point guard was on her. She had her down in the paint. She had great position and just couldn't finish the easy two. Inbound for Lewis for the Panthers. Good kick out, open three. Strickland from the right side. But last couple of possessions, the ball has moved really well for the Panthers. Yeah, they've had some great ball movement on the offensive end and getting wide open looks because of it. Good look down low. Sims had good position, better pass. Sims unable to finish and fight for the rebound. That hell ball will go to the Greyhounds. As you see a wide open Malia Johnson cutting to the hoop. And Avery Strickland's defense collapses and she is wide open in, in the corner for a knockdown three. Garcia kicks it out to Leah Dixon. Eight to shoot to Sims. Five to shoot. Dixon, high arcing three, no good. Rebound by Hutcherson who's had a nice game here tonight. Drive in the lane by Johnson, no good. Rebound to Garcia, here comes Rossi the other way. Dixon. Gets it over to, to Nira. Rossi, 10 to shoot, drives the lane. Good anticipation by Johnson to knock it away. How, how big defensively are the They're huge. They're huge. It just changes the possession overall. And it frustrates you on the offensive end because you think you have a wide open look, and boom, there's the defense knocking the basketball out of bounds. Espinal in for the Greyhounds. Garcia to inbound. Dixon. Espinal rolls around and out and rebound to Aislinn Malcolm. Strickland is going to drive, loses control, but fortunate it goes right to Amber Brown. The three is no good. Here comes Loyola. They cut into a 16-point Panther lead, a 10-0 Panther run. Again, Boy, three Sims. players inside. And Malcolm does a nice job fighting for the rebound. On the defensive end, making it extremely hard for Loyal to score the basketball inside the paint. Lewis to Strickland. Her running shot from the baseline is good. A 12-0 Panther run. Loyola just can't get anything going offensively. No, and Pitt is making them pay as Avery Strickland is starting to feel, feel it on the offensive end. And a drive ball taken away by Amber Brown, and Strickland gives it to Lewis. Strickland, good crossover. Baseline jumper again. Ace Strickland with nine points here in the first half. There's a little pep in her step right now, Jeff. She's feeling it. She's feeling good. She's telling him, give me the ball. 
Yeah, and you could see during that play, Amber Brown was like motioning, <laughs> get her the basketball screen. Ball knocked away by Exenor, and it will be Loyola basketball. Ace Strickland. Giving them a spark, Avery Strickland on the offensive end. And similar type of moves, one while dribbling, the other not. Yeah, she's creating her shot. Nine points for Strickland, and she'll sit down here with the 134 mark of the second quarter. Van Otu. Despinal. And look down low to Terrian. Her right-handed shot is good. So Lex Terrian ends a run of five minutes and 45 seconds of no points by the Greyhounds. Tough pass to handle for Amber Brown, stolen by the Greyhounds. Let's see on the offensive end for Loyola if that gives Lex Terrian going. And 0 2. Dribble it back out. Plenty of time. 14 seconds to shoot. Bannon calling out the play as the Greyhounds reset with a double high screen and an offensive foul called on an illegal screen on Marta Espinal. Yeah, you hate to see that as a coach. 12 seconds left in the shot clock. Exactly what they wanted. Setting up a little horns action there trying to get their post diving down to the to the basket and they get called for a, an illegal screen. Malcolm, ball knocked away and controlled by Loyola. Espinal, Tarian. Tarian with Hutcherson on her, gets it to Van Otu. Back to Tarian. Got pretty much the rest of the first half to play out here. Good look down low to Tarian, and Tarian is fouled by Aislinn Malcolm. Yeah, they do get Lex Tarian go, go into the block there is what they wanted. However, they do leave 14 seconds for Pitt to get a last, last second shot. Tarian, one of five from the floor, one of two from the free throw line, five rebounds. Strickland back in for Malcolm. Yeah, they didn't keep Strickland on the bench for too long. Graduate student from Massachusetts. Lex Tarian. Preseason All-Patriot League, and both free throws are good. And to protect Tarian's two fouls, she comes out, Sims comes in. Yeah, that's just a smart coaching move there especially with them going on the defensive end for just 10 seconds left. Now the Panthers at that 10 second mark. Here is number 10 and number 10 is fouled by number 12. Christina Garcia. It's a foul to give, so 7.9 and an inbound. And good catch by Dacianette Harris. She forces it up and in. Dacian at Harris. Tough uh, basket there. Unable to get a shot off is Loyola. The Panthers lead it by 18 here at half. What really stuck out to you, Brianne, about the Panthers, especially defensively here? Yeah, credit, all credit to Pitt Panthers and their defensive effort right now. They are making it extremely difficult on Lex Terrian on the inside on her inside presence. They are fronting her and they have the help side defense there on every single catch. And then when she does catch it, they are sending two and three players at her. I'm and just try to build upon that. Yeah, maybe it was some nerves for them with, you know, being in a, a big arena. They did come in and practice here last night. So however, so hopefully that changes for them in this second half. Panthers, you see those points, the better shooting in the second quarter for the Panthers. Hayford has it. Leah to King, who rested a little bit with two fouls. Double pumps, no good, and a rebound to Sims. So Leah Dixon led the Greyhounds with nine points, nine of the 14. Radigan to Dixon. They were trying to work a screen for her. Over to Radigan in the corner, front iron no good, fight for the rebound, controlled by Washnitz. Amy Hayford, open three, Amy Hayford! 
don't see her take a lot of threes. Her first made three of the year. The Panthers up 21. Oh, and that was nicely set up by point guard Marley Washnitz with her first start tonight. Deep two by Dixon is no good. Good box out by Marley. Pass out to Amy Hayford. Hayford up and under move by Amy Hayford. Five points here to start the third quarter. Looking to get it down low. Nice entry pass, and Sims finishes down low for Loyola. Looks like Loyola is going to press off the make. Loyola and, looking and to change it up and trying to get some momentum going on their end with that full good, court pressure. And good hands to steal, and Dixon has it. Sim. Over to Sims, down to Terry, and Terry in one on one. Right handed shot, no good. Maybe rushed it a little bit, but Sims there for the rebound, but loses that to Dacianette Harris. And Harris is fouled by Christina Garcia up the sideline. An early sub for Loyola, too, in the second half. And you wonder with Terry, she knows how important. Kind of feel that she rushed that shot a little bit? Yeah, she knows. I think she's putting pressure on herself. She, she knows she needs to score the basketball for this little team to stay in the game if they want a chance to win. As you see, Loyola has changed up their defense in the second half going a 2-3 zone. Kick out to Dacianette Harris left side from three. So a couple of made threes for the Panthers here and the lead now 24. Yeah, we'll see if Pitt can change their shooting around as Dacianette Harris gets out in transition there with a great steal. Harris able to get in front of Radigan, and she is fouled. And that foul is going to be on the floor before the shot. So an inbounds for the Panthers, and quickly Garcia comes back in. And Van Otu checks out. Loyola quickly switching back to the man-to-man -man there. 40 to 16, Panthers. Inbound to the freshman. Oshnitz drives in and a foul on the floor before the pass. Marla Washnitz owns some poise and some confidence at the point guard position. Garcia picks up the foul. Inbounds for the Panthers. Two and a half gone here in the third quarter. Oh, nice spin move, but a travel by Harris. That was a so great nice. read by it her. Was illegal. <laughs> great, great read by her, too. Too bad she traveled on. Radigan now for Loyola. As a steal, Marley goes right around and lays it up and in with the left hand. She picks Espinal. Pitt. Another turnover, another fast break point for the Panthers. Yep, Pan Pitt starting off the second half where they finished in the first, getting out in the passing lanes. Coming right from behind, great steal by Marley to get an easy fast break opportunity. And Tarion picks up the foul, working to get position down low. It has been all Pitt Panthers shooting 50% from the floor and a 26-point lead. This is a personalized ad. It helps you find good ideas. This is Jada, who found one. And here's Greg badly in need of a good idea. You see, you can discover a small business at any moment. Oh look, it's that moment when a good idea helps make a moment a better moment. You get the idea. Good ideas deserve to be found. Personalized ads help you find them. Well, that's the thing about claims, you see. They, they don't happen on your schedule. I mean, take a chestnut. It doesn't just say, oh, beg pardon, but it's now a good time for a jolly bit of window cracking. And as I can tell, chestnuts don't talk. Geico, your claims team is here for you 24-7.
This year, save on gifts that mean more during the big holiday sale. Only at K. This is 100% fresh beef. With two slices of melted cheese, pickles, onions, ketchup, and mustard. This is a burger that strongly suggests you take a seat. It marks its territory, leaving behind a graveyard of napkins. And can't, no, won't be contained by humble sesame seed bun. This is the Quarter Pounder with cheese. There's never been a better time to get away. With a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Get 0% APR on the 2023 Tucson, plus zero payments for 90 days. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Panthers have played everybody here so far, and well, virtually everybody, but the freshmen have really made an impact. Ace Strickland with nine points, but Marshnitz started. We've seen Aislinn Malcolm make some, some plays as well. It's a good experience here for this freshman class. Yeah, absolutely. They give them their opportunities, that's for sure, and Avery Strickland has run away with it here tonight with nine points, as has Marley Washnitz, starting her first college career game at the point guard position, and she is playing extremely well. That was the third foul on Terry, and as Panther is able to break the press, Hayford, King to Harris, Marley, fake, drives, bounce pass, Redwell, I tell you what, Koi Sims has made some nice plays here over the last few minutes of basketball. Getting the steal there. Good look down low. And the ball is kicked out. Radigan's three is no good. Rebound. Another offensive rebound. And who else? Koi Sims. She has been a great addition to this Loyola program. She transferred from Al Albany last year. She wanted to come home, come closer to home. And she really has been a great addition to this Loyola program. Amy Hayford picks up the foul. Koi Sims was a McDonald's All-American nominee out of high school. Her father played football at Maryland, and her uncle played nine years in the NFL. So there's some toughness in her family. <laughs> yeah, talk about an athletic family. Good look by Radigan, and Sims is fouled going up for the layup. Yeah, great footwork down inside by Koi Sims. Sims will go to the line. Amber Brown checks out. Gabby Hutcherson checks in. Boy Sims. 11.7 rebounds in the last game. And she struggles at the free throw line, shooting just 40% for the season. Sims with two points, six rebounds. But I think she's influenced in many other ways. A free throw is good, and Hutcherson looking for somebody to inbound gets to Lewis. Yeah, and Loyola staying in that full court press, trying to turn Pitt over or, or at least slow them down a bit. A Strickland gets it to Hutcherson, and the Panthers get a chance to set up, but a travel on Shanice Lewis. And Loyola gets exactly what they wanted out of it, a turnover. Loyola looking for something to build on. They host Hofstra coming up in their final non-conference game of the season. That's when it gets real, Patriot League time. Radigan's three, no good. Hutcherson, nice job of out-battling Sims for that rebound. Wide open is Johnson. Johnson drives, kicks it to Leah to King. King, good ball movement. Hutcherson's three is pure. That was a great setup by Shanice Lewis there. Just a little volleyball tap over to her teammate. Two for three from three for Hutcherson. The Ohio State transfer with eight points. Radigan. Dixon, Dixon off the Sims screen. She'll shoot the three, no good. And out of bounds, Pitt basketball. 
It's just been a struggle all night for Loyola. 12% for the game from the floor, 15% from three, but a turnover there, and Dixon goes all the way, but misses the layup. Lewis was... Talking to her teammate, they're not playing defense. That's something you hate to see as a coach, a turnover and not playing any defense. And she comes off the floor for it. I mean, she had a wide open layup there and she just Strickland unfortunately couldn't put nights. it down. Yeah. Dixon has it and takes Strickland baseline, lays it up. Again, a miss, offensive rebound by Sims, no good. And Hutcherson and Dixon fight for the rebound. The help ball goes to Loyola. I will tell you this, though. Talia Dixon is not holding back from shooting, though. That's for sure. She's still getting her attempts in. And Loyola, to their credit, keep fighting. And a hand check call on Strickland. What was it you were saying about moving your feet? Again, two hands on the ball handler. And that's what the pick coaching staff wants from Avery Strickland is to stay with her guard at least two steps, two bounces of the basketball so that her defense can get there in the help side. If not, she is going to struggle with ACC guards. CC Panthers against Patriot League Greyhounds. Open three, Radigan, no good. Sims there for another offensive rebound. Out to Dixon, her three is no good. Ball is knocked out of bounds. And it will be Loyola basketball. Danielle O'Bannon keeps encouraging her team that sooner or later it's going to fall. Panthers lead it 45 17. We love our new home. There's so much space. But we have ants. Expired. 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 It's a lot of house. I hope you can keep it clean. At least GEICO makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. For bundling made easy, go to GEICO.com. There's never been a better time to get away. With a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Get 0% APR on the 2023 Santa Fe, plus zero payments for 90 days. Visit buyhyundai.com today. If you win free McDonald's for life for you and three friends, suddenly you're McDonald's rich, which means I'll pay for his too rich. You're welcome. Employee of the year, Every year, rich. And stopping at every exit, rich. Ooh. Because if you win free McDonald's for life, congratulations, you're McDonald's rich. Order in the app and you can win free McDonald's for life for you and three friends. People who come to Cricket, stay with Cricket. I love how Cricket has no hidden fees, no hidden charges. It's just predictable. With Cricket, I can stay in touch with my grandson as much as I want but I'll be concerned that my bills go up. The 5G is like fast, fast. It makes sharing photos of our projects and video calls super easy. Switch for the speed, stay for the savings. Smile, you're on Cricket. What's more intimidating when it's time to pop the question than picking out an engagement ring? Hi, I'm Hadley Perry from Perry's Diamonds and Estate Jewelry. Perry's can help ease your mind and make the process easier and more pleasant with our selection of new and vintage engagement rings from a half carat to eight carats and 10 graduate gemologists on staff to help you find the perfect ring. Plus, our 12-month no interest financing will make it easy to pay for as well. How can she say no when you present her a ring from Perry's? Carnegie Boulevard across from South Park Mall. Dacianette Harris with nine. 
freshman A. Strickland with nine, Gabby Hutcherson with eight points, as they have had more than half of the Panthers' points here tonight, a 45-17 lead. Loyola, four of 39, and here's the thing, 16 offensive rebounds, but they just haven't been able to convert on the other end. Again, credit to the Panthers, but it's just one, one of those lid on the hoop nights and a foul on Hutcherson guarding Talia Dixon. Yeah, you talk about they score half of those baskets. That's 16 extra oh, excuse points. Excuse me, Malia Johnson. Off their offensive rebounds. They're getting it done on the glass. They can just not find the bottom of the net. Malia Johnson, the foul. And Dixon. This is another oddity of this game. The Panthers lead it 45 to 18, but the first player to double figures is a Loyola player with 11 points now. Who has 11 of their 18 points in this game is Talia Dixon. And the pressure broken well by the Panthers. Johnson drives hard, but is blocked by Sims. Koi Sims. Yeah, Koi Sims won that battle there as Malia Johnson thought she was just going to jump with her instead of going off to two feet or just using an easy ball fake and getting her up in the air to score two. Down to Exenor, good ball movement by the Panthers, but a travel by Amy Hayford. And it's been a good night for Pitt. And you have a game coming up on Sunday at noon. You don't want to get into some bad habits with the big lead here over the last 15, 14 and a half minutes. And a foul on Amy Hayford. That is her fourth. Yeah. You've heard Terry Mitchell screaming, just keep your hands off. Yeah, she knows it. Every single one of these fouls by the Pitt Panthers have been fouls. The officials are calling a Excellent game tonight, and the Panthers are giving Loyola opportunities at the free throw line. Listen, Brian, I know you've coached. How many times have you said, oh, the officials are calling an excellent <laughs> game here tonight? <laughs> Is this the first? So it depends It depends on the score of the game and oh. whether my team was there or not. <laughs> if it was affecting the outcome for my team, then maybe. <laughs> Two free throws. And Loyola staying in this full court pressure. For Dixon. And a steal by Dixon. And pass just a bit too high. Loyola getting their opportunities. Ava Terrian tried to climb the ladder, just not quite enough. Not capitalizing. Washnitz, Hutcherson to Johnson. Panthers set up, four minutes to play here in the third quarter, a 24-point pit lead. And Loyola in that zone again. Washington's wanted, but instead to Hutcherson down low. Good, quick decision with the right hand by Hutcherson. And Hutcherson continuing to get it done on the offensive end for the Panthers. 47-21 and foul on Strickland. Yeah, excellent ball movement by the Panthers on offense. They find Gabby Hutcherson with great position inside for an easy right-handed layup. So in that scenario, if she stops and gathers, that is going to give the defense time to collapse. And the free throw short by Garcia. She'll get another. Second free throw rolls home. Let's see here, Loyola again in this press. I mean, why not? It's been working. They're turning Pitt over. Man 2 in. Espinal also in for Loyola. Strickland breaks it pretty easy. Gets it to Hutcherson. Good look down to Exenor, who finishes at the rim. And Loyola giving up a, a layup in. 
off of their press is exactly what you do not want when you are full court pressing. First points for the junior from Quebec, Aisha Exenor, and a foul. That's going to be on Exenor. Pin putting them to the free throw line. Panthers currently, King has three fouls. Hayford has four. Strickland has three. Three on Garcia and three on Lex Terrian, the Greyhounds. Madigan's free throw is perfect. Who, Jeff, we have barely seen her in this second half. I know she has the three fouls, Lex Terrian, but I also want to say you need to give her a little bit of an opportunity, but they feel they, she, with those three fouls, she might be a liability out there on the defensive end. Radigan now four for four this season from the free throw line. Exenor wants it on Sims, takes her to the baseline, loses control, gets it back, and kicks it out. Ball movement, three from the corner by A. Strickland. Great ball movement again. Malia Johnson passes up a wide open shot for a better look for Avery Strickland because she is shooting the ball very well tonight. And ball knocked out of bounds by Taisha Exenor. There you go with your deflections on the defensive end. It just disrupts your offense. Great battle inside. Malia Johnson with the extra pass to Avery Strickland for three. Continuing with her scoring effort tonight for the Panthers. Is that passing up a good shot for a great one? Passing up a, a seven type shot for a 10 out of a 10 kind of shot. And the inbounds off Van O2. And it is pit basketball. Panthers have led for all but 14 seconds of this game. Johnson's three. Malia Johnson. And they got Malia going now with five points. Yeah, and she needed that run right there. She and needed to see that go through the hoop. Time up by Loyola. 55-24, Panthers lead it over the Greyhounds. Well, that's the thing about claims, you see. They, they don't happen on your schedule. I mean, take a chestnut. It doesn't just say, oh, beg pardon, but it's now a good time for a jolly bit of window cracking. And as I can tell, chestnuts don't talk. Geico, your claims team is here for you 24-7. Twenty-three points here in this third quarter, and the Panthers have opened up a thirty-one point lead. Good look down low to Sims. Good ball movement by Loyola it ends in a Dixon three. And that was a big bucket by Loyola there. As Pitt came out of their timeout, as they have been doing all night, changing up their defense as they went into their two-three out of the timeout. Hutcherson's runner in the lane is good. Now 10 points for Hutcherson. Make it a dozen for Hutcherson. Sims. Pitt staying in that zone. And they're 2 3. Ball movement again finds Dixon. That shot no good. And the freshman runs it down for the Greyhounds. Radigan thought about it. It's a good decision by Radigan because Marley had overplayed that and she didn't make that pass. Yeah, she had a little lane to the basket there, but I, I really think that was their coach on the sideline wanting to use more of the shot clock and wanting to get a good possession on the offensive end. How length can impact a game. Trying to get it up and over Hutcherson. A missed shot there by Dixon. Right, her wingspan is makes it extremely difficult for guards to drive inside there and get a good look. Hutcherson faces the basket, and now the turnaround rolls out and rebound Despinal. And 0-2, good feed down low and a finish by Sims. Great find, I'm sure they're taking a sign of 
deep breath on the on the sideline there on Loyola's bench to see that ball go through the basket. More points in this quarter than in the entire first half for Loyola. So improvements, you see them fighting and staying in a game that really got away from them early. Dacianette Harris able to grab it and we got a foul before Dacianette Harris stepped on the baseline or sideline. The way it is a foul on Loyola. You heard just the first on Dixon. So we're near the end of the third quarter. Panthers shooting 54% to 14% for Loyola. And Jeff, they're shooting 44% from three. And free throw good by Dacian at Harris. Harris once again in double figures in a game in her Panther career. And the next one rolls out, but run down by Exenor, good hands. And holding for a last shot are the Panthers. Hutcherson wants it. Said sets the screen and commits a foul on the screen. That's frustrating all around. As you're trying to get the last second shot in the quarter, it's frustrating for the coaching staff, the players, but especially the one who set the screen. Espinalde inbound to Radigan. Five seconds. Good trap. Garcia drives in the middle. Left-handed floater is good. Garcia beats the end of the third quarter. Better play here from the Greyhounds as we end the third quarter here in Pittsburgh. Panthers jumped out early, continue to hold a big lead, but Loyola continues to fight back as well, 58-31. Loyola 26-15, and that last, you may come back and say, oh, the score's different. Well, they ruled that that last point by Garcia was just a fringe after the clock had expired, so they took those two points off the board. Down low to Hutcherson. Hutcherson finds Washnitz with 11 to shoot. Her three is no good, and Terrian runs into Sims. Sims comes away with the rebound. Rossi into the quarter for Radigan, looking to get it down low to Sims and off of Koi Sims, and it will be pit basketball. Yeah, Rad 17th turnover. Radigan thought she saw her teammate with great position in there. Koi Sims. Just a tough pass. Terrian knocks that away. You wondered when we would see Lex Terrian, and here she is. Same with Bree Rossi. Yeah, they can't go too long without either of them. Expect to see them a lot in this fourth quarter. Amber Brown for Hutcherson, who's the co-leading scorer with 12 points for the Panthers. Same for Strickland. Corner three is good. Destiny Struther. Continue with that three-point field goal percentage there. The first opportunity for Struther and drills the three. Right again. Pitch showing there. All knocked away. Rossi, spin move with 10 to shoot, stops in the lane, kicks it out to Dixon. Dixon, shot clock at five. Screen, Sims. Drive baseline and shot no good by Rossi, a shot clock violation. We've seen that a couple of times, Panthers defense. And Rossi had nowhere to go there. Credit Pitt's defense running out the shot clock there. Sixty-one twenty-nine Panthers. As Pitt looks to improve to six and three on the season. And a foul on Dixon as Exenor was entering into the paint. Yeah, Pitt doing a nice job tonight at getting paint touches in the paint. Anytime they've gotten two feet inside the lane, they've had great opportunities to score the basketball. Keramia Tahiro in. And just inside the three point line that time, but missed by Destiny Struther. Fan 0 2. 
Gets it over to Radigan. Lex Terrians averaging a double-double, has five points and five rebounds in this contest tonight. Skip pass. Good head fake. And a drive into the lane and a foul. Van Otu will go to the free throw line. Malia Van Otu, freshman from PA. She was a she lettered in basketball, track, and softball. And she's a tremendous athlete, and that was a really, really smart play by her there. As she had the defense collapsing on her as she looked to take a three, but she showed great patience, waited for the defender to float by her, and she got herself into the for an easy free throw line attempt here. And free throw is good. Seven points against Delaware State. It's her career high and now gets on the board here tonight. And rebound knocked out of bounds. Willow will get another opportunity. Terry and Terry was going to take it right to the hoop, but hands by Strickland. The defense collapsed on her again. Strickland, stop, turn around, off the window and in by A. Strickland. First points since the second quarter. Strickland with 14 points. And Radigan's three is good for Loyola. There's Radigan finally getting on the board. Been 0 for 6 before that shot. Well, Strickland thought about it, but gave it up. Struther. Amber Brown pointing down low to Leah to King. King, left-handed shot, no good. Gets her own rebound, puts it up. That will not fall, but King is fouled. And Leah to King, only with four points in this game, will go to the line. Great defensive effort by Avery Strickland. And then she gets out in transition, and she's like, give me that bucket right there. I love the window. Love that action. Bank is open. Sandrine Kleska in the game. For the first time. For King. No, Strickland. Six of seven from the floor. The nice free throw there by King. It's interesting. There, one of the telltale signs and one of the things we've really seen improve with Pitt has been rebounding. They're actually a minus four in this game. There have been a number of offensive rebounds for Loyola. A free throw good. Yeah, coming into this game, both teams are great offensive rebounding teams and overall good def rebounding teams in general. Panther is able to get it, come the other way. King goes in and is fouled. That was two on two crime. <laughs> yeah, a little out of control there. She got lucky by getting to the free throw line. Van Otu picks up the foul and it'll be two shots for Leah Tu King right back to the free throw line. Started 16 games as a sophomore, averaged seven and a half points coming into this game, averaging just over 10 and a half, makes the free throw, but nine and a half rebounds. Last year she was seven rebounds a game, which was eighth in the ACC. Lead two last year had two games, back to back, 19 rebound games. Those are. Extremely impressive. <laughs> Good stats for a month for some <laughs> players. Right. She's been kind of quiet here tonight with just six and four. Six points and four rebounds. Willow working the ball well. Tarion trying to fight to get her miss back. Here comes Malcolm. Finds Strickland. Strickland, three. Again. Ace Strickland, 17 points for the freshman. Tarion 
Able to drive in and score. Lex Terrian with seven. Tough night for Loyola. Yeah, and real, real tough night for Lex Terrian. And a jump shot good by Leah Two King. That puts the Panthers over 54% from the floor. Loyola shot a lot better here recently to get it up to 17% for the game. Panthers have doubled up the Greyhounds, 540 to play here in Pittsburgh. I'm an alien. If you're making a sci-fi movie, you need to finish the special effects. Does that look good? And if you want to save by bundling home and car insurance, you need GEICO. Uh -oh. There's never been a better time to get away. With a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Get 0% APR on the 2023 Santa Fe, plus zero payments for 90 days. Visit buyhyundai.com today. This is 100% fresh beef. With two slices of melted cheese, pickles, onions, ketchup, and mustard. This is a burger that strongly suggests you take a seat. It marks its territory, leaving behind a graveyard of napkins and can't, no, won't be contained by a humble sesame seed bun. This is the Quarter Pounder with cheese. Because your lives are forever entwined. Love entwined. Shop K's last big sale of the year and save on everything. Only at K. To your power. Let's go. Ah, you didn't come to work out. You came to outwork. Let's get it. Yo. Boom. Do what do what's for. Come on, you got this. Every day, man's on the floor. Hey, no challenge, no change. The thing goes. Let's go. Get up to two hundred dollars off accessories. Terms apply. Since I was little, I wanted to be a part of a team. Come here, buddy. Nice shot. I've played just about every sport there is growing up. My mom's been there for me through every season. We'll get him next time. Mostly to keep me fueled and cheer me on. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Love you, too. It took me a minute, but I finally found what I love. All thanks to her. You're always there for them, and we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment. Before tonight, Avery Strickland had never had a double-figure scoring game in college. Uh, that changed, Brian. Yeah, they pick coming into this season was really high on their freshmen, especially Avery Strickland, and she is really getting it done tonight in different ways. As you see her getting out in transition right here, wide open three. She's putting herself in great positions to score the basketball as her teammates are finding her and giving her the ball. Three of four from three, 17 points, and seven of eight from the floor, and didn't take a bad shot. Ball knocked away, turnover, but Radigan hustles to turn it back over, and Greyhounds will run it with five and a half to play here in the game. Kick in the corner for Radigan. Thirteen to shoot. Ball knocked away from Garcia. She's going to drive in. Right-handed shot just won't find the bottom, and a fight for the rebound between Terrian and Strickland, and it will be Loyola basketball. Sixteen points for Dixon, the only score in double figures for Loyola. Garcia off the inbound, drives, gets cut off by Kleska. Ten to shoot for the Greyhounds. And Otsu able to get traveled. that dribble down before the travel call and hits the three. That's a nice shot by her right there. She's not really known for her three-point shooting. 
find victories here in a game like this. Amber Brown. There's cross court. Kleska down low to King. King misses, and Tarion grabs the rebound. And King wanted a foul right there. Eight rebounds for Tarion, nearing her average of 10 and a half. As fighting for position down low as Espinal, able to keep it from going out of bounds. And the cross-court pass intercepted by King. King dribbling right side. It's going to go right at Tarion. And the foul on Tarion. Next to Tarion, that's her fourth. And Taisha Exenor is going to check in for the Panthers. And Taisha Brown will check out. Same with Strickland. King will go to the line as we're seeing a series of substitutions on both sides. Among them is Ava Terrian, the senior sister of Lex Terrian. Her dad played 12 years in the NHL. And they have another sister that played before them. So King and put her contact back in. She might need that to take this free throw. <laughs> so you can use phone nothing, for everything. I was just gonna say nothing like like an iPhone nowadays that won't. <laughs> so that would be a funny moment. Say, how many fingers am I holding up? And you hold up three and say, no, it was two. Just to mess with somebody. <laughs> you know. We're at that point. It's 408 left in the game. <laughs> 70-38 Panthers. So Leah Two King, chance to get into double figures here at the free throw line. That one rattles out. Four rebounds for King. Panthers host Ball State at noon on Sunday. Second free throw is pure. King will check out, and Hutcherson is back in. So Kleska, Exenor, Struther, Johnson, and Hutcherson versus Sims, Garcia, Tenedo, Rossi, and Tarion, Ava Tarion. And Pitt in that tandem, 2-3. Tarion turnaround, and it's fouled. Ava Tarion will go to the line. Muska picks up the foul. Tarion has one point this year. In the game for the three, the number 23, part of the line for one of the Ava 5-10. And free throws, front rim no good. There's Lex Tarion. And second free throw is good. What an experience to be on a Division I college basketball team with your sister. And they know that Isabella, their older sister, played before that. By the lineage of the Tarion family. Johnson back in the game. Good look down low to Exenor, gathers, fakes. The ball is stolen away by Garcia. Good defense by Garcia to dig down in and to get the steal on the defensive end. Corner three, around and out. Hutcherson, good box out. And hands it over to Sandrine Kleska. Approaching the three minute mark. Panthers won every quarter as you would expect, given the score. Brother. Eight to shoot. Exenor three. Rolls out. Offensive putback goes down. How about Sandrine Kleska? Crashing the offensive glass. Come on, you know there were some gyms when you were in middle school that would hit the roof of. <laughs> it drops right back through. This is just her pursuing the basketball. She wanted that offensive rebound, and she knew she was getting fouled. She just threw it up and 
somehow it found its way to the bottom of the net. Ten different Panthers have scored tonight. Eleven Panthers have scored tonight. Yeah, Pitt spreading the wealth on the offensive end. Only Shanice Lewis and Aislinn Malcolm have not scored for the Panthers. And we saw subs early to ten different Panthers play in the first quarter alone. And not because of foul trouble, that was kind of the plan. The steal by Struther. Malia Johnson, who did not start tonight. Hutcherson walked. Too quick with it. I will not say that Abby. was an easy call by the officials, but I think it was. <laughs> and the inbound to Rossi. I'd imagine if you're Danielle O'Bannon, you just put this one behind you and quickly move on as a steal and layup by Axenor. Yeah, you absolutely have to stay positive with your team. At this point in the season, they're one game away from Patriot League play. And if they go and carry in this game All right, with Bree, them. You got to go in there and not get that ball. You ready? Go in there. Come on. <laughs> there were some things I could do in my career. Pops, I don't know if it was one of them. No? I could get up a little bit. Yeah, I bet you could. A little bit. I had a couple of athletic bones in my body back in the day. I don't know about any more. I don't know how how many times I could get up and down the court right, You've right now. Donated them to your boys. <laughs> I sure have. I sure have. Malcolm gets to Hutcherson. Oshnitz, who started in this game, played fairly well. As Panthers mixed up their lineup. Good backdoor look and a feed. Unselfish basketball to give Marley the three opportunity and the rebound run down. Now back to Marley. Malcolm won't get an opportunity to shoot as Exenor commits the foul. Yeah, that was an unfortunate foul, but that was great ball movement again by Pitt. Pitt staying in this tandem 2-3. Almost like a little matchup. Shot by Van Otu, no good. Comes Marley looking to get it to Aislinn. And Radigan picks it off. Her layup, I think partially blocked. And jump ball situation will go to Loyola. I'm wondering in that scenario, how much players know on the floor that Aislinn hasn't scored yet? Is there a, do you get in these scenarios where you're, as a teammate, you're trying to get I would think in a game Somehow like this, board. I would think in a game like this, that could be the situation, as there is only a, a minute left, though. And Radigan hits the three. Freshman from South Bend. And she was missing a lot early in the game, Kelly Radigan. She stayed with her shot. Exenor, a nice move down low and finishes with the right hand. Exenor was six. Yeah, Exenor gives, give, gives Pitt great minutes. She does a lot of things that don't show up on the stat sheet. So Leah Dixon, 16 points for Loyola, 17 for Strickland, 12 for Hutcherson, and 10 for Dacianette Harris with nine for Leah Two King. Shot missed and... Foul on the floor with 21 and a half seconds left. Van Hotu giving Loyola some good minutes here. Something they can take into Patriot League play as she's just a young freshman. She has a lot of room to grow in her career at Loyola. Baseline jumper no good. Strickland gets it to Hutcherson and Hutcherson is going to kick it to Marley. And Marley is looking at the <laughs> clock and decides the sportsmanship thing to do is to not shoot. The Panthers really clamped down defensively, set a program record for fewest points allowed in the first half, and then 
kept it rolling, got hot from three in the third quarter. Yeah, all credit to Pitt today. They made it very, very difficult on Loyola from the jump, and they did not give up on the defensive end, and their defense led to their tra transition offense, and then they really got their 